Well, hello there and welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Today, it is just gonna be like a gushy, excited kind of video because we're talking about the books that I am excited to read. It's really funny because this time last year, I had not even, I had finished my first book of the year. That's it. I had only read one book at this point and it might not even have been finished. I might have still been reading it at this point. And now this year, I just posted on my Goodreads like the last review I put. I'm now at 12 books, whereas last year I had only read one. So um, it's like a weird transition to being like back into being obsessed with books. It's funny because I remember being in high school and going to the library and grabbing like five or six books, reading them all, bringing them back, grabbing some more, reading them all, bringing them back. Like I was obsessed and consumed with books all the time when I was younger and I don't really know what happened. Like I think life just got really crazy and I started focusing on the real world stuff and less on like the fantasy stuff. Anyway, that's not the point of today's conversation. The point of today's conversation is to talk about things I'm excited about for March. There are several books I'm going to read in March and I'm pretty excited about them and I, then I have a possibility pile. So I have a TBR and I have a possibility pile. Shout out to the Cat Lady Book Nook who mentioned this but I love the idea of a possibility pile so shout out to whoever puts that on Instagram because I think that's much better than actually assigning yourself books that you're going to read. So there are books I'm definitely going to read because I'm so excited about them. I will not wait when they happen I will read them and then I have my possibility pile and honestly my possibility pile is just like most of the books I have hold on the library because they tend to come at random times and I'm either ready to read the book or I'm not um, and I also just lost one which is the book I was trying to read Neuromancer so it's currently a DNF because I had to turn it back in because other people were waiting for it but that's besides the point let's talk about my TBR so books that I'm going to for sure read in March. The first book that I'm going to read, it arrives on the second, or at least that's when it actually releases. I've already pre-ordered it, so I'm going to get it as soon as it comes, is Clara and the Sun by Kazuo Ishiguro, who is one of my favorite authors. He wrote Never Let Me Go, which is such a heart-wrenching story. And this book is about like a mannequin slash robot thing that is like a customer service bot or something like that. I don't know the exact details. I'm trying to stay pretty unbiased and ready for it. So when I get it, it's like completely fresh. I don't actually do that very often, but because it's like a new release, I want to just read it as fast as possible and get to talk to other people as they read it because I'm really excited about this book. I just love the author so much. So, and the cover is beautiful. It's so simple, but it looks complicated and thoughtful at the same time. Anyway, that's besides the point. The next book that I'm going to read is part of a buddy read with Michael Nip, and that is Howl's Moving Castle, which I am very excited to see because I am interested to see where it originates from because a lot of people have said the book is actually a lot better, which makes me really excited because I would love to see the original background story for one of Hayao Miyazaki's inspirations because he seemed to always be inspired by things that had a lot of meaning and a lot of depth. So I'm interested to see I'm interested to see how the book does with that. Then let's get to my possibility pile because those are the only two books that I am 100% confident I'm going to read in March. Other books could be read before then or could show up on my on my um, I actually use the Libby app, which is like a library app. It's fantastic, by the way. And let's go to my hold shelf. So there's one book that's about to come through, which is called Needful Things by Stephen King. It was recommended to me by someone on Instagram who's an INTP. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, there was a reason why he recommended it. I can't exactly remember why, uh, but he said that based on some of the things that I said and some of our shared interests in the books that we've read together, he thinks that I'll like this. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then Anxious People should be arriving in about two weeks, which is a book that I have been really excited to read because it's like about a group of people during um, during a bank robbery and all their lives that lead up to that. So I'm pretty excited about that. I thought it would be pretty interesting. And then Anathem is only about two weeks away. Uh, I've had several conversations about this book with a few coworkers and then some people on Discord. And I am very excited about the possibilities of this book. So it is on the list. And then um, also Mistborn is going to be available in three weeks. So it could become a March read 
though likely will become an April read. But I'm pretty excited about Mistborn too. I've been wanting to get into Sanderson, but very overwhelmed at the idea of it. Those of you who know me know I do not like long books. I prefer shorter books. So let's see how it goes. It's supposedly amazing. I hope that it is. I really like the idea of the way that Sanderson does magic and that it's more sci-fi-esque and that it has hard lines and rules. So I am excited about that. And I have read the original, which is with Brandon Sanderson and Mary Robinette Cole. So I know that he's done something that I do enjoy. So I'm curious to see what can actually happen. Also, I'm supposed to get a subscription box this month from this like YA book subscription box because I forgot to cancel it. So I might read that if it's an interesting book. I don't even know what the book is gonna be yet until they ship it out. So I'm excited. It may end up in my possibility pile and actually to be read. So we'll see. <sighs> my sister, my older sister, she recommended this book to me a very, 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 very long time ago, and it's called Kashiel's Dart. She has been recommending this to me since she was in high school and she read this. She read this book series so many times and there's so many books. She even gave me a digital copy of the book and I still have not read it. She gave me the whole series, by the way. I have the whole series as an ebook, completely free. She gave it to me, she gifted it to me, and I still haven't read it. And I said I was gonna read it for February for like Romance Month, because it's kind of like a romance story, but not really. Um, she's like a courtesan, so not exactly what you would call romantic, but I do wanna read it, but I always like prioritize other books. So it's like one of those that I really wanna read, but it never feels like the right moment to read it. Anyway, oh, and another book I've been really wanting to read, and if it just like falls into my life, I am going to read it. Um, it's The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Someone was doing it for a book read along some month, like January or February, and I really wanted to read it because I really love that book, and it's been a long time since I read it, so I've been thinking about rereading it. So, yeah. Those are the books in my possibility pile right now, which I, I get is a lot. I can guarantee you I won't read all of them unless I just get like a of reading ambition. <laughs> but that is my list, guys. What is on your to be read list this month? It can just be one book. It can be to read one chapter. I'm interested in what you're reading. And yeah, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. And I hope that you have a beautiful, amazing, fantastic day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.